Hi, it's Simone, and thank you so much for joining me today for our painting. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and wet your canvas. This is actually going to make blending and mixing your paint colors together a little bit easier. Right, let's go ahead and get a little bit of white paint and you're going to go ahead and start in the upper portion of your painting you're just going to make some light swirls you're going to make like a small circle and then make it a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger and then we're going to go ahead and blend on the outer edge of that circle a little bit of lavender and just do this very lightly Okay, and then we're gonna add in a little bit of our light blue. And then we're gonna go ahead and repeat the process of white, lavender, and light blue. And we're gonna do this all the way around until you start to run off the page. And when you're painting your circle, again, you don't have to press very hard. The colors do not have to be very dark. You're just doing this very lightly and then blending your colors together. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm taking the light blue and I'm gonna start painting the bottom portion of our painting. And actually I'm painting a little bit more of the background. This is gonna be kind of like our night sky. Again, I'm just going back in and adding a little bit more of that lavender a little bit more of the white and adding in a little bit more of the blue just to make the colors blend a little bit nicer And once you finish that, you want to go ahead and take a blow dryer on a cool setting, or you can just let your canvas dry naturally. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of our black paint and we're going to start painting in a little bit of our tree. You do not have to do a full tree. I'm just doing a portion of it with the branches. And when you're painting this, you don't want to paint over your moon. So just be very careful that when you paint this branch that it goes a little bit above the moon because you want to get a good glimpse of your moon. You want to be able to see it. Right, now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm using my liner brush and I'm going to start making the rope that is on our rope swing. Okay, now you want to go ahead and you want to make a small rectangle at the bottom. This is actually going to be our seat to our swing. Right, 
now we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw our little girl and this is just a small rectangle making it a little bit larger at the top than it is at the bottom and then we're going to add two small little ovals there for her legs and for her feet this is just a silhouette so you don't have to do a lot of detail Now you're going to paint in her ponytail. Very simple. This is just like a backward S. I'm just adding in a little bit of her arm. Again, there's no right or wrong here. All right, at the bottom of your canvas, go ahead and dip your paintbrush again in some more black. And this is actually going to be like a riverbank or the grass. And again, this is a silhouette. Once you've painted that in, again, there's no right or wrong here. You want to make sure that you get your liner brush and just add in a few of the cattails, a little bit of grass. The, this, there is no right or wrong here. If you're not sure what to do, just watch me for a few minutes and then just follow along. All right, friends, we're almost done. So let's go ahead and make sure that we add in her fishing pole. You want to make sure that her pole is a little bit thicker than her fishing line. And then make sure that you add just a small fish at the end of her fishing line. Again, nothing fancy. There's no right or wrong here. All right, friends, let's take a little bit of gold paint and finish off this painting by adding just a little bit of gold inside of our moon area, just to give it a little bit of extra character. I'm adding in a few little lightning bugs just to give our painting a little bit of detail. And I'm adding my signature at the bottom. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you real soon.